So regarding the clinical signs that we see in dogs with ACL tears, it's quite variable. I mean, in quite a few patients it will be completely non-weight bearing or barely touching their foot down. That's not atypical. Some dogs will have a subtle lameness. It all depends on what degree of tear they are in at the moment. Some dogs will have a very acute fast onset. They probably have been tearing little by little and then boom, the straw that breaks the camel's back as they hop off of the steps and tear their ACLs and they go from fairly normal to almost non-weight bearing. And other animals will have a slow, insidious, worsening lameness. Uh, one thing that dogs do clinically when they have any degree of ACL tear is they usually will sit with that leg to the side. So in full tears and more severe cases, uh, they'll sit like this with their feet to the side instead of that nice little tight sit that dogs typically do. And many dogs will sit with their feet to the side as a lazy sit at times, but dogs with ACL tears, even when asked to sit for a treat, uh, they will either kick the leg out or sit, sit with the, both legs pushed to the side. So that's the most common clinical signs that we see. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out then how we make that, that final diagnosis.